You can amend it with a simple rider. What else? Okay, I have to be in court around 9, so tell him I'll call him around uh, 1 1.30. 10? Yeah. Number 11. Uh, 11. Right here. Uh, 11 is actually two little ones in a row. Uh, oh, like this? Um, I'll call you after we break. Good, because this whole double digit thing is kind of new to me. Who's next? Sorry, I was rude. You were glad that you pulled it off. You could probably pull off food, too. Twelve. I got twelve here. I think we just lost our turn. Law offices may help you. How's our favorite judge? Medicaid, if you liked his ruling, 25% of the West Bank property. Nicely done. Well, she lost her husband, at least she has something. I'll be upstairs. What is that? That would be a photograph. One of the partners bought it. The guy just hung it up. What guy? Him. I forgot the check. I'm sorry, thanks. This is yours? Uh, only until I cashed the check. You took this? Yeah. Really? You seem to have a hard time believing me. I'm Billy. Oh, I'm sorry. I just... It's really powerful. I don't know why. Yeah, yes, you do. I'm not getting a name, am I? You know, I may have to start calling you 11. Cute. Why don't we have dinner? When? Tonight, Oliver's 8 o'clock. I'll have to check my schedule. I'll wait. Uh, 8 o'clock is fine. And her name is Emily. <laughs> am I going on a date tonight? Uh-huh. <laughs> I think they wanted us out of there like an hour ago. How long was that? <laughs> I don't know. Five hours? Oh, my God. Well, that's definitely on the list. What list? Well, I made one of those lists when I was 17, you know, all the things you're looking for in a girl. And five-hour dinners was on it. Someone I can't stop talking to all night. What else? Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's really... Yeah. Yeah, I've noticed that. You want something like uh, water or juice? Water is good. Okay. How come you don't drink? Is it because you don't have a choice or because you do? Oh, no, I do. I just... Uh... Have a few very minor control issues. Really? Really?
almost dinner. I knew it! How did you know it? I didn't even know it. Oh, that's what makes me me and you not me. <laughs> oh, this is so ridiculous. There's not even a precedent for this. I'm a total slut. Oh, please. Believe me, I know sluts. You are no slut. I slept with the guy on the first date. Uh, hello, what decade do you live in? People do it all the time, Emily. Yeah, I don't do it. I have never done it. Well, maybe there's a reason you did it this time. Pretty sweet, Em. Sometimes it just happens. Sometimes it just happens. Great. Listen, I'm at the restaurant. I'll call you back. They want my show. The main wants my show. You're kidding me. Can you believe that? Billy, that is incredible. Hey, listen. Bottle of your finest bubbly. Water. Come here. I'm so proud of you. Can I tell you something? This has been the best month of my life. I'm wandering around with this stupid grin on my face. People are starting to think I'm crazy and it... I love you. Oh, my God, did I just say that? I think you did. I don't say that. Yeah. Don't do this. Yeah, well, I've never done this, so, uh... What are you doing? That's what I've been trying to tell you. I love you, too, hon. You're kidding me, right? No. Not really. <sighs> It's an antique. It says something on the inside. I can't quite figure out what. F O R A. Look, I know this is fast, but I've never felt like this before. This is crazy. We've known each other a month, right? This is absolutely crazy. Yeah, I know. It is, isn't it? Maybe. Try it on. Try it on. See my fiance's granddad. He likes to say fiance. He likes the way it rolls off his tongue. Well, it's only been a day. You gotta let me have some fun with it. Now, Billy, what is that? Six carrots? Oh, it's not that small. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Where'd you find it? It was weird. I was out looking for this old camera, and I don't know. I must have written the address down wrong or something, because I ended up at this little antique store, and I saw this ring, and I just couldn't leave without buying it. Sadly, it's an engagement born of compulsive shopping. Anyway, I'm gonna go check up on our guests. If you two talk about me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's great. I know. So what's wrong? Come on, I've known him a month. Oh, please, listen to me. I've had two husbands, both of whom courted me forever, and both of those marriages ended in very ugly divorces. Lucrative, but ugly. This is a good thing. You can feel it. Oh, look, here comes your hot little assistant. <laughs> Jenny? I'm so sorry I'm late. I have yoga class. I just got your message. So since when do you barbecue? I don't. My future husband does. Your what? Her future husband. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. It's beautiful. Congratulations, you guys are gonna be really happy. I'm gonna get something to drink. You want something? No. What was that? Mm -hmm. So, well, how do I do it? It's a feeling, you know. You just point the camera and yeah, you gotta look through the eyepiece uh -huh. and uh, just snap the first thing that moves you. Can I take a picture of you? 
No. It's part of no, don't you understand? <laughs> look, look at that, over there. Get the light over it. That's what I'm talking about. That's the kind of thing that moves you. Come on, let's go. everything else. How's the man? Oh, he's so great, I can't even tell you. Well, good, because I don't want to hear about it anyway. Why do you hate my ring? What? I don't hate your ring. You've been staring at it all week. It's a, a beautiful ring. Jenny. It's nothing. I, I just get this weird vibe off it. That's all. Who's upstairs? Oh, who turned it on? I don't know. You can stick around and find out. I'm going for a run. I mean, I would be freaking out if I were them. Darling, seriously, how, how horrible can they be? Horrible enough for him to hide them from me for over a month. Well, they can't all be perfect like your parents. I miss them so much. I know. I wish they were here. How much have you told Billy? I told him my parents died in a car accident when I was 18. I decided to skip the part about my stay in the institution. I should tell him that. Huh? Maybe not tonight. But give him a chance. He might surprise you. Emily. You look beautiful. 
They're going to love you. Really good stuff. Makes you want to double up my Prozac. But I guess that's the point. Well, yeah, I'm employed by a pharmaceutical company. Liz is a beautiful person, but an art critic, not so much. Well, look who's being protected. Nice work, William. Oh, thank you. Congratulations. Hey, thanks for coming. You're welcome. All right. So, heads up. Here they come. That would be my cue to exit. Ooh. More champagne? Thank you. <laughs> Let me look around a little. How do I look? You kidding? You look amazing. Hello, old people. Oh, Billy, we are not old. Mom, Dad, Zimmer. Mr. and Mrs. Eichner, what a pleasure to finally meet you. Oh, for God's sakes, Beth and John. You know, Billy's managed to keep us tucked away the other day. It's very nice to meet you, Emily. Well, welcome to our family. Oh. Decent turnout, Bill. Hmm, is this drinkable? No. Oh, well. <laughs> Come on, John, let's take a look around. Billy has always had talent. Mm. Loads of it. I did too. Did he tell you that? Takes a hell of a lot more than talent to make it this one. <laughs> now, John here is really the embittered artist. If he had it his way, Billy would take his gift, put it in God a little box. Sakes. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> totally Why ridiculous, are you? Ridiculous, John. Henry, Waste excuse time my wife. That damn family yeah, business. Honey, give me your glass. John. Beth. You're embarrassing yourself. I am not. I am embarrassing you. Can we please not do this? Thank you. Have you seen my uh, fiance's ring yet? <laughs> oh, my. That's lovely, John. John. What? It's very lovely. But... You know what? I think I'm going to head home. Let you artists do your thing. Billy, can you get your mother home safely? Sure. Okay. Anyway, it, was, uh, it was very nice to meet you. You too. Well, I'm just going to go fresh now. Welcome to my world. I'm so sorry. It's okay. You know, we can drop her off. Don't and... be ridiculous. Take care of your mom. I'll get Liz to give me a ride home. Just wake me up when you come in. <laughs>
Could you have an old girlfriend or something? Somebody who's angry? Or... Angry at what? At me? And she's trying to break into your house? Well? I do have ex-girlfriends, Anne, but I think you met both of them. She was standing there in the window, staring at me. And I swear to you, I saw her twice on the street. You know what? If there was someone outside your window, we should call the police. I don't want to call the police. Why not? It's not a big deal. People call the police all the time. Look, if someone is stalking you, we should let them know. I just don't want to. I don't even want to talk about this anymore. Can we just go to bed? Sure. Sure, whatever you want. Where's your ring? Oh, God. I got it open on the new door. I got it. Em, I got snagged on my Em's sweater. It was on. Babe, it was. It, we can oh. do this tomorrow. And we'll find it. Just stop. Em, I, can you stop for a second? Look at me. Look at me. It's okay. It's okay. It's been a tough day for both of us. And you thought it would end with the monster parents, but I guess not. I don't know what's going on with me. It's okay. Let's just go to bed. Ten o'clock is here. You all right? Miss Braden, she's here. Things. 
your reflection, Jenny. Oh, um, Emily, are you okay? No. What's wrong? I am seeing things. What are you seeing? Things that aren't there. I keep seeing this woman. When did you start seeing her? Just after we got engaged. Well, sometimes people can see things other people can't. This is a crazy conversation. I hope you realize that. I don't think it's that crazy. Emily, where did Billy get this ring? You. Oh, hi. You looked close. No, just a little dim. <sighs> You're looking for something in particular? Oh, uh, actually, I found something. I'm sorry about the chew in here. Oh, I'm fine. I was wondering, my fiancé bought this ring a few weeks ago. Oh, sure, yeah. Yeah. Can you tell me anything about it? I think I just filed the paperwork a week ago. I'm not certain, though. Oh. Uh, well, there's an inscription in it. I can't quite make everything out, but it... Oh, that's weird. There's another letter on it now. Treasured possessions have a story. They carry a little piece of the owner's soul. Especially rings. Ah, oh, here we are. Marie Solinger. According to this, you purchased the ring at an estate sale over 35 years ago. So I did. I suppose it was just waiting for the right buyer. Do you know what happened to the original owner? No one knows. She disappeared. Hey, here's the search on Salinger you wanted. Thank you. You are getting a huge Christmas bonus. Even though I let Billy's mother wait in your office for you? What? I think she had a liquid lunch. Beth, hi, how are you? Oh, Emily. Hello. My goodness, this is a lot of work. Is everything okay? Oh, everything's fine. It's just fine. I just thought I'd take you to a nice lunch. That's so nice of you. Well, you know, those events are never any good for getting to know someone. And, well, I've learned more reading your walls than I have from talking to my own son. Oh. Anything good? <laughs> Well, Yale undergrad, Stanford Law, you are a very impressive woman, Emily. Now, now, are these your parents? Uh, yes. Do they live nearby? They passed away when I was 18. Oh. Oh, well, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, perhaps John and I can be like parents to you. Thank you. I mean, I, I always wanted a daughter, and... Well, actually, all I ever really wanted was, was a family, but... Beth, I would love to go to lunch with you, but I need to prep for my next meeting. Do you mind if we take a rain check? No. Of course. Of course. I'm, I'm so sorry. I just thought I'd like to get to know my future daughter-in-law just a little bit better. Yes, and then you will. Another time. Oh, I see you found your ring. What? Well, Billy called me. He told me that you lost it. I didn't lose my ring. Never mind. Sometimes problems just have a way of working themselves out. Right? I guess... Yeah.
Oh, excuse me. Hi, can I help you? Detective Landry, Ed Landry, was with the department years ago. Yeah, he's still here. Really? Can I speak with him? One second. Marie Salinger, huh? Anything you remember about the case? Anything that wasn't in the newspapers? What's your interest again? Oh, I'm the estate's attorney. One of the family members asked me to look into the circumstances surrounding her disappearance. He's... He's a bit of an eccentric. Thinks that some of the articles in the estate possess a... He thinks there's something strange about him. Strange? Mm. Well, Miss Parks, I suppose if a woman were murdered, it might contribute to a certain strangeness. Marie Salinger was murdered? Technically, she disappeared. All we found was her finger and her engagement ring. I see. Well, <laughs> that is helpful. <laughs> Thank you very much, Detective, for your time. You're welcome. Are you all right, miss? Oh, yes. <laughs> I uh, think you forgot this. Where did you get her ring? Uh, from the family. Uh, why don't you come back inside and just sit down for a minute? This heat can really get to you. And I'll see if maybe I can find out something else on the Salinger girl. Uh, she was a Loyola girl. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, a couple found her finger in the woods out by the Avalon Art Colony. Forensic said it was probably tossed out of a moving car so the rest of her body could be anywhere. Were there any suspects? Oh, we know who did it. Paul Hamlin murdered her. Who was he? Her fiancé. Uh, he gave her that ring. Uh, he was the last one seen with her. Uh, Marie's family didn't like him that much. I figure he tried to break it off. Guy had a temper, a motive, and no alibi. Was there a trial? Uh, the grand jury found insufficient evidence to indict. No body, no murder. He walked. Where is he now? Under a rock somewhere. And I advise you not to turn it over. Found a finger in the woods out by the Avalon Art Colony. Possessions and a story. Nobody no more. You walk. She disappeared. Oh, that would work. Sometimes people can see things other people can't. Sorry. You okay? Yeah. I'm sorry. What's this? I don't know how to tell you without sounding completely insane. Okay. You see this person? Mm -hmm. It's Marie Salinger. She was uh, murdered in 1969, or supposedly murdered. They never found her body. The police think her fiancé did it. Yeah? The ring you gave me was hers. How do you know that? I found out. Oh, Jesus, Em. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll take it back. That's not the disturbing part. I think that Marie is trying to communicate with me. I know. Billy. When I was 18, I had a breakdown. A pretty serious one. What does that mean? I was hospitalized. I was put in a mental institution. Why didn't you tell me this before? I didn't know how. I didn't want anything to change. Between us. After my parents died, I started seeing things. 
or, uh, or feeling them. I would, um, I would think that I heard my mother in the other room, or, uh, I would find a book open. My father loved this book about football, and I would find it by his chair. I didn't know what was real and what wasn't. Everyone said I was crazy. They called it post-traumatic stress. Which made sense, I guess, and... It was easier than trying to understand what was actually happening to me. So I, I, uh... I found a way to bury the feelings or to medicate them away, but now that they're coming up again... I don't want you to say anything. I'm terrified that I'm... <laughs> I don't think I'm crazy. She's right here. She's right here, and she's here, here, and, and here. And, and, she's there, she's here, she's here. Right there. Um, I, I want to understand this, really, I do, but why don't I just take it back? This isn't about some ring or your past, or it's about you and me. Let's just get it out of our lives. I'll take it back. Really? You're right. I'm gonna start my life with you. I don't want anything to get in my way. Are you sure? Yes. I'll take it back tomorrow. Hello. Hi. The help? Is Mr. Beach around? In the flesh? Oh, I must mean your father. My father's dead. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I just saw him last week. You saw him when? Last week. No, my father's been dead for more than eight years. I'm sorry.
Excuse me. Uh, Mr. Hamlin. I'm sorry to bother you, but I was wondering if I could impose on you for some help. Mr. Hamlin. I'm Emily Parks. Yeah? I'm here about Marie Salinger. You a reporter? No. What about her? I think she wants me to talk to you. I'd like you to leave now. Marie's dead. Now get off my property. I have the ring you gave her. My fiancé bought it at an antique store. I don't know who you are or what you think you know. I saw her. She led me here. Get out! Wait, oh. You want to talk to Marie? Okay, here. I got it. Here it is. They're called earthbound entities. Crossing over can be difficult, especially after a traumatic death. Okay, I think murder qualifies. What are you talking about? What are we talking about? All right. Her spirit is trapped here on Earth. She can't move on until she finds some sort of resolution. Maybe she needs your help? Yeah, why me? <laughs> Because Billy happened to walk into some antique store? For all we know, she orchestrated the whole thing. And... Listen. This is a real thing. I think you're connected to Marie Salinger somehow. Read this. Sometimes a hidden relationship exists between the spirit and the living, which goes beyond the physical possession of the haunted object. She led me to his house. Whose house? Her fiancé's. The guy who killed her? Wow. Okay. <sighs> maybe she wants you to do something to the guy. Or maybe this is this is about you and your fiance. Well, you think this is something warning about Billy? Well, I don't know. I really don't know. I I just think she's trying to tell you something. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously. So what are you gonna do? I guess she'll tell me. Hey, baby. What's up? I'm not delusional. Well, I never said you were. This is really happening, Billy. What is? What's really happening? What are you talking about? Why are you still wearing this? I went to the fiancé's house. You what? She led me there. She was trying to tell me something, Billy. I think she wants my help. What are you doing, Emily? I'm trying to find out what happened to her, why she died. Why are you doing this to us? Why am I doing this? You think I want this? You think I chose this? I didn't choose this. Emily, Billy. we decided that you would take Billy. this ring back and we wait, were going to get wait, on wait. our lives together. Billy. Emily, Billy. that is what Billy. we talked oh, about. Wait, Billy. There can't be a way until I finish this. Oh. I am not going to let this go, Billy. I can't. Jeez, Em. I love you. I know. Then take the ring back. I can't. I tried. She wouldn't let me. I ignored these feelings once. I'm not going to do it again. I should go.
scream. Let please, go of me. don't scream, please. I just want to let go of me. All right, if you don't scream. Let right. go of me. I just want to understand something. Let go of me. Just... Did you really see her? Yes. Everybody thinks I killed her. I loved her. I didn't kill her. Then who did? I don't know. I'm going to find out what happened to Marie. Then you better be careful. This lawn cut. Mom, what are you doing here? Is that coffee? Yeah. I really use a cup of coffee. Thank you. What the hell is this? Oh, that is an early wedding present. Half of it, anyway. You get the other half after the wedding. Wait a second. You're giving me the Steinway? Well, maybe you and Emily will have a few little prodigies. Anyway, why should it sit untouched in my living room? Mm. What's the matter? I'm just tired, you know? Thank you. This is very generous. How are things with Emily? Well, I know I'm your mother, but I can try to be impartial. Well, the engagement ring that I gave her... apparently has a history. The woman who owned it... was murdered. Hmm. Well, that is a bit maudlin. Her name was... Marie someone, the uh, Salinger, and... Emily thinks, she thinks she's getting messages from the dead woman. I don't know, she's just obsessed with resolving this woman's death. She's reading all these articles, doing all this research. She's even talking to the police who were involved at the wow. time. Whoa. I don't know. I, I don't know. Billy, I'm very fond of Emily. So is your father. But... Oh, here we go. Well, now you may want to take a little more time to get to know each other. Ma, can we not do this? Please. Well, honey, wouldn't you rather see her clearly now as opposed to when you become more entrenched? Oh, is that what marriage is? Entrenchment? Well, it can be. You don't know what you're getting yourself into. So, how do you feel about your mechanic? More to the point, how do you think he feels about you? What are you talking about? 
There's no hydraulic fluid in your master cylinder, and somebody plugged up your car's brake hose. I don't believe this. And they messed up your electrical system. I warned you about Hamlet. He followed her last night. He attacked her. Why didn't you report it? He was upset, and he came to my house. The last time he was upset, he killed a woman. Emily. I'm okay. This is one straight through the voice now. I got here as fast as I could. I'm okay, really. I'm just testing you. <laughs> Thanks for taking care of her. I'm lobbying for maid of honor. <sighs> you can go home. You got the job. Liz. I get to pick out the dress. Are you sure you're okay? I'm gonna splash some water on that face. I'll be right there. We can get out of here. Leaving our lawyer. Apparently our son needs one. Well, what are you talking about? Where is he? Probably being interviewed by a detective. Now, if you excuse me. Emily. Emily. I don't think you're a bad person. I don't begrudge you any happiness, but my son is in love with you, and you are making him miserable. Well, uh, that's certainly not my intention, Beth. Well, I would be the first to tell you that we can all end up far from what we intend. It's just... Honestly, I don't think that he's up to caring for you, Emily. Caring for me? Billy came to me. He told me what's been happening, and I'm no psychiatrist, but obviously, honey, you're, you're, you're disturbed. I am not going to have this conversation with you, Beth. Try to stay lucid long enough to understand me. I have one son. And I will not stand for his life getting shot to hell because his wife sees dead people. Mom! Billy, are you all right? What is going on? I would on? like to know. The whole thing is a misunderstanding. I'll probably tell you in an I'm accident. Sure they they here. I, I don't know what the hell they would think. Anyway, if you don't need us for anything else, we'd like to. Yeah, know. sure. I'll let you know if we have any news. We'll talk later. Hey, it's me. The Avalon Art Colony is now defunct. Thought you should know. Closed in 1970. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Can I get under the property? Well, I tried to get a hold of the owner, but he lives out of state. I'm gonna need a rental car.
this man? Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Yeah. It's a difficult one. Special. More delicate than the others. Hard to keep alive. Oh. Detective Landry dropped by. Time hasn't mellowed him much. I'm s sorry. I was in an accident. I heard. You okay? Yeah. I, I told him it wasn't me. I never even fixed the toaster. It wouldn't be much for tampering with cars. I'm not accusing you. I know you didn't kill Marie. Sure of that? Yeah, I am. May I come in? This is an amazing room. It must be a lot of work taking care of all of these. Yeah. Thank you. So, uh, you remember her? Yeah. Do you recognize that woman? No. No, this is before we were together. Why? Who is she? Oh, she's my fiancé's mother. Apparently, my connection to Marie goes much deeper than the ring. Did she kill her? Oh, I don't know. But I don't think all of this is a coincidence. Why? Why hasn't she come to me? I don't have an answer to that. But maybe you can tell me something. What was inscribed here? I can only make out the F-O-R-A. For always. For always. That's how we felt. We thought we were going to be together forever. I never know what to do with these. I couldn't bear to look at them, but uh, I couldn't throw them away. Here, you take them. Oh, no, no, Paul. Oh, really? Marie was an artist. That's how she connected with the world. If you want to know her, this is probably a good place to start. Chicago Gallery ordered 30 of my prints. Oh, that's great. Uh, can I talk to you? Yeah, hang on. I just got to put this in the fixer. Okay. Hey, all right. Can I show you something? Yeah, sure. What is that? It's a picture of the Avalon Art Colony, 1969. Have you ever heard of it? No. Your mother was there. You see her? And so was Marie Salinger. Where'd you find this? Hello? Yeah, listen, I'm gonna have to call you back. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I got it somewhere, but you, you get... All right, hang on. No, I, I didn't touch it. It's okay. It's not your it fault. It became a different picture. What are you talking about? So, it was a brick building. A picture of a brick building. Bridge, Bridgecrest Ironworks. Bridgecrest Ironworks. Well, that's one of my father's buildings, but I've never taken a picture of that before. Big red letters? Big black red letters? There, there's a mural on the side of the building. And I've never taken a picture of it. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. There, 
There's a chain link fence around the back. Well, I don't know. Maybe I maybe I told you about it yeah, or you drove ne- past it or something. Billy, I have never been to this place. Ever. I am describing to you what I saw in the picture. All right, okay, all right. I, I swear you. to you. I believe you. Really, I do. You have to go there. Oh, wait a second. Why? She is giving me clues. Emily, I, I don't think I can do this. What do you mean? This, this chasing after ghosts and... You know what? Fine. You look a little tired. Why don't you get some sleep? So relax. My father's John Heitner. He owns this place. You okay? Yeah. I'm sorry. She was trespassing. I was just trying to do my job. Yeah, well, everything's cool. You can go now. What are you doing here? I should have come with you in the first place. Where are you going? It's my dad's office. What are you looking for? I don't know. What's this? It's been hanging there since I can remember. been painted over. I gotta lock up. Let's see back at my place. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Be safe. What are you doing here? Well, that's a fine reception. How are you? I own the place, by the way. What are you doing here? Come on inside. I got to call security staff to tell them everything's okay. No, no, we're fine. Everything's all right. Thank you. I keep a nice 18-year-old scotch around here just hoping for occasions like this. Do you have occasions like this often? Not really. Not with my son, certainly. Security call. Said some woman was wandering around here. 
So you got up in the middle of the night and drove 30 miles. What's that you got there? Painting. On your wall. Oh, so it is. Bring it on the Antiques Roadshow? Where'd you get it? Tell you the truth, I forgot. I think it was your mother's. Back in the day when she did something. I guess it ended up here. That why you came out here? Did you know Marie Salinger? Isn't that the girl Emily's so preoccupied with? But Mom knew her, right? How would she know her? She's dead. Well, they were at the Avalon Art Colony together. Your mother never mentioned her. She, she probably doesn't even know. You think? It might explain some things. Like what? Her hostility toward Emily. Oh, bull, Billy. This girl is all mixed up. Your mother wants you to be happy. Both of us do. I gotta go. You really gonna take that old thing? Yeah, is that okay? Be my guest. I get a cut if it turns out to be worth anything. Yeah, sure. Hey, Billy. I hope you won't let a girl, one you've only known a month, turn you against us. I mean, particularly a girl who clearly has some problems. Done. You have to load HIE film in the dark. There's a whole world of crazy techniques with infrared photography. They use this to look at what's underneath the museum pieces. <laughs> what? Nothing. Thank you. A little early to be drinking, isn't it? Must be cocktail hour somewhere. <clears throat> Where are you going? You saw your father last night? What the hell is going on here? Mom? Mom, look at me. Did you paint this? Why'd you paint over it? Mom. What did you do to her? What did she do to me? Maybe get Emily to get a ghost to explain that. Yeah, your father and I met at the Avalon Art Colony. It was our summer. Then he met her. What's that? Dad was involved with her? He was in love with her. He, uh, he came around eventually. He said he needed me. <laughs> said he'd been playing. Now he wanted to grow up. Have a family. No more art. No more painting. 
took over his father's business. And then we had you. I was happy for a while, actually. What happened to her? Police said her fiancé killed her. Why'd you paint over this? I didn't. Your father did. Speak up. I found something. Come on, Bill, Bill. <laughs> the of attorneys are trying to understand me, huh? She's here. Isn't she? No. Not anymore. Bones are here, but I'm Udo's now. Oh. Right, Come on. I made my peace with all this long time ago. Oh, I don't get no. It was an accident. But I didn't know it deliberately. She wants to move on. She has to move on, and she can't until her death is resolved. It's dead. She's gone. I love you very, very much. But she's gone. We should have left this alone, Emily. You can't just spring this. I'm engaged. Anything on you? Say, I'm in love with you. Oh, well, don't. don't. I'm glad, but we're friends. I'm married. Don't, don't do this. Don't touch me. Call me. Why didn't you wait? Oh, I didn't call you. Come on.
family members? Oh, no, I'm a friend, Emily Parks. I'm Paul's physician, Dr. Miller. Okay. He called a couple of hours ago and said he was having trouble breathing. Was he okay? I'm sorry, he passed away about an hour ago. He'd been in remission for some time. Osteomyeloma is usually a slow progressing tumor. His health took an unexpected turn. Maybe now he can get some peace. Yeah. My God, I love that dress. Of course you do, you picked it out. Well. <laughs> I'll be right back. Starts. Ooh. To love the eternal kind. Hmm. 